Um, we'll kind of roll that out closer to the time once we work out the last 10% of exactly how, how it will be done. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. So April is Dental Health Month. That will happen in April. It'll be posted on the website, so we're just kind of getting things ready to go. Uh, website, we've been working, I worked for three hours on that yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so the website has been a bit of a challenge for the marketing department because in marketing, um, the Alberta Dental Association and College, which is our governing body, the ADANC is our governing body, they have all these strict rules on marketing. So um, they kind of went through our website and some of the words that we had to remove from the website were words like surgical instructions, surgical procedures, surgeon, excellent care, exceptional service, oral surgery, because of the uniqueness of our dental practices and our array of dental associates, we are able to meet all your dental needs. Highly trained staff. These are some of the words um, that we were told we can't have in our website. So, you know, our motto is excellent care, exceptional service. So if you notice in the website now, it just says care and service, because I didn't think average care and okay service was probably good to put in the website, because that's all you're really allowed to say. So it just says, and we have not highly trained staff, just kind of below average staff. <laughs> Is, uh, so anyway, uh, basically we to turn off the website, two days later, turn on a brand new one. <laughs> Someone needs to turn on the defibrillator. I'm having a heart attack. But anyway, we're still working on the website. And so part of my strategy, I always kind of draw a line in the sand and I kind of erase it and move it a little bit forward when it comes to uh, my marketing. Uh, is having some really nice bios on there from our team and using our bios to kind of promote ourselves and the patient experience as if you were talking to the patient. So some people don't really feel comfortable putting personal information on, their web on the website, uh, but what I would like you to do is when you're sending me your bios, and some of you have sent me your bios already, and I'm going to tweak those a little bit, and I will make sure that I show you how I've tweaked it before it goes on there. There's a few of you that are on there already, and we can retweet those. But what I would like you to do when you send me your bio is to write your bio as if you're talking to the patient. So I'll kind of give you an example. Um, Hi, my name is Tammy. I'm a receptionist at Abel Family Dentistry. Welcome to our website. Um, I'm the first person you see when you walk through the doors. Uh, it's my job to gather your personal information, to keep it safe, and, uh, and ensure that I've answered all your questions when you come to your dental appointment. Uh, I have uh, two kids, two boys, and you can find me on the weekends in the ice rink. I look forward to getting to know you and your family over the next years of being part of our dental family. Or something like that, or if you're a dental assistant. You know, when you, uh, as a dental, you know, I've been a dental assistant since 1999. Uh, it, it's really important for me to ensure that your dental experience is pleasant and that I answer all your questions and make you feel safe and comfortable. And I look forward to having you join our dental family. So it can be very generic like that, but I think it just creates a nice warm feeling when they're looking at the specific office where they are, and it says meet our team, and then you're all there and they can check out the hygienist and what your philosophy is and your patient care and how you care for your patients. So that's kind of how I'm going to make our website warm and fuzzy, is, is make you guys warm and fuzzy and, and welcoming the patients that are coming into our practice. Our website, there are some uh, searches that uh, have been done in the past. Last year, we were page 43. We are now page 7, almost in the front where they can see us. <laughs> there was some searches where we were page 43, and we in one year, we're on page 7. So Google is all about what words are in your website, what content is in your website, and again, how many times do you go there? So we're working on that. So if you have not sent me your website, or your little bio, I can help you with that and tweak it a little bit. Please send it to me, Connie, at GameWithDentalGroup.com. So going to the website here at the office really doesn't count in Google's eyes? 
if you go on it once in a while at home, because it's all different. Uh, those IP addresses. Yeah. IP addresses. Computer addresses. <laughs> so please be your friend on Facebook. Uh, I'm meeting with two social media companies, one this week and one next week, to kind of take over the whole Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so they're going to be. And my Pinterest address. Oh, and my Pinterest, Instagram, whatever all that. <laughs> So we have a company that's actually going to kind of take that over. So we're meeting with them right away, and then hopefully we'll just skyrocket even more. One favor, if I could ask you to do. Um, the Google Plus, where you go in and uh, do a Google rating on your doctor, um, is really important. Uh, our website people said, even if you just get five, five patients from each of the offices, that bumps you up in your ranking for Google, huge. So if you could please encourage your family and friends to do the Google Plus and, um, and friends and family that have come here and legitimately are our patients, that would be awesome to help increase our ratings. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, I just want to talk a little bit more about Facebook and social media. Um, it is a very, very powerful medium, and I don't really think it has um, hit home to me how powerful it can be until, as you all know, I kind of like the opportunity is walking by. And um, so I'm on there all the time, and anytime there's um, public inquiries, so there's about 20,000 members, actually, no, I think there are up to 21,000 members in Lathbridge. So just like 21,000 people have a link to this. Um, this little community, this little online community. When you think that's 20% of the population in Lethbridge, there's a heck of a lot of households in Lethbridge on there. So it's an easy way to reach out to people. Um, so anyways, over the last couple of months, whenever there's been any kind of uh, uh, inquiries from people regarding who's, who's your favorite dentist, who should I go to, like there's it's, it's not just swapping items, it's swapping information. I'm on there, like a dirty shirt, typing private messaging, or able demo and listing all of our dentists, and, and then just pointing out a few things like 24 hour emergency, new patients welcome, second opinions, blah, blah, whatever it is. And we've recruited several people. Sometimes we recruit people who are. You know, I mean, not your best patients, but you know what? You're getting your name out there. But we've recruited a lot of good ones, so just keep thinking about how many more good ones we recruit than maybe not so good. But let me tell you a little story about something that happened yesterday. So with Perry's help, we had a girl who posted on to this swap and buy something about um, my son needs some work at Able Dental Group on Wednesday, and I have to pay so much half of my appointment up front, and they, they listed our name. And it was like, oh my gosh, she posted this on to 20,000 people. Well, within seconds, boom, 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 post people with their opinions on it. So I intercepted and I typed a little message, private message to And so I went and I private messaged this lady and kind of got to the bottom of her concern. Her concern isn't us. Her concern was, is how am I going to get the financing to cover her portion? So, in this private message, because of course I'm not going to go online and, you know, PIPA and all that. So, I told her how to go to the prevention building and how to do all the steps behind the scenes. And um, so, her and I chatted all throughout the day, back and forth, how, what she needed to do. Okay, have you been there yet? Oh, it's a long line. Blah, blah. Anyway, it was, it was quite laborious. But, meanwhile, the whole day long, this new this feed that had accumulated of people's opinions around town about Able Dano Group, or maybe you should go get a second opinion, or Dr. Hall does, you know, this, or he'll write off differences. This is all written in this news feed, and I screenshotted some things for Alberta Health Services, just so you know. But anyways, but my bigger point is, but my bigger point is, is this girl with some behind the scenes assistance for me was absolutely thrilled. And trust me, I don't normally do that kind of stuff for everybody, I've got better things to do, but when our name is out there, 
Social media can be a fabulous thing, but it can also be a double-edged sword. So it's about very carefully managing what you say or the information you deliver or, or responding back to it. Um, so anyways, what ended up happening is I was able to manage her through this, and so I said to her, I said to her, let me just read to you what I said to her. Here. In one of my many, many messages back and forth, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> very <laughs> Okay, so I said, at the end, so she gets this appointment, whatever. So I said, well, that's awesome. I knew we could find a solution. I'm just now reading back all the conversations that followed your initial post. Wow, social media is a powerful medium. Your simple inquiry really hit home with a lot of people from the community. And then I said to her, would you be willing to...